Hello YouTube, Eric DIY here with an interesting video for you. You might see some solar panels over there. We're going to be reviewing those. That's more from my uh, solar power box. But we are slowly experimenting with solar panels on the house. You can see I have held up of rocks. This is a temporary setup. I already have the mounts. They just came in today. But uh, I went and bought two 200 watt solar panels. And I have them connected to a grid tie inverter right over here and we're just testing stuff out so this is in no way permanently mounted right now uh it's currently overcast so it's not making much power right now it's making like maybe 50 watts earlier today but that's with total overcast guys and again the grid tie inverter plugs into the house and what it does is <clears throat> it takes the power from the solar panels you can see the uh mp4 connectors there i have it going up with an extension cable past the security camera and up there i put the panels up there yesterday just to try them out I had them not mounted on anything, and again, I just got the mounts today, but has the power come down, it goes into the grid tie inverter, which you see down there. We only have one of the inputs in there. It has another three, so if I want to expand this, I can, and I got all this stuff really cheap, so I'm not going all out with expensive stuff here, but we're going to see what it... So this isn't really expensive solar stuff, but I'm not going all out right now. I'm just experimenting with solar panels. And I'm only going to put it on the top of my porch here. I'm not going to go for the whole house or anything. I'd hire someone to do that. You can see how those are pretty well slanted roof things. But I can get onto the top of the porch here. In fact, I did. I went through my office windows right there. Walked right out into the porch. And it's not that steep, so you can actually walk over in there. Uh, again, just got the mounts in, so please don't think the rocks are permanent. And we're going to try doing it in several different ways. Again, just experimenting, but I want to update you over time on the Eric DIY channel with my exploits with solar power and grid tie inverters. And that's what we're going to do.